What's going on YouTube? Uh, so it's the next day and we're gonna see if we can get a little bit farther on this. Brian came back and uh, right now I am working on getting the exhaust off. I'm not gonna show you guys how to do the exhaust just because of the fact that mine's different compared to everybody else's and if you don't know how to get an exhaust off then you probably shouldn't be pulling your engine. <laughs> just saying. But, uh, yeah, so let me get the exhaust off, and then after that's all out of the way, I'm going to show you guys the drive shaft and, you know, what we have to do next and all that good stuff. So, stay tuned. All right, all right. so we just took oh off. Oh, my God, look at the size of that drive shaft. Mm. <laughs> we just took off the heat shield. Um, there was technically six. Was. <laughs> My bad, I just ruined your video. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I'm sorry I ruined your, your YouTube video for you. <laughs> so, technically there was six 10 millimeter bolts um, that connected this, but I think like two of them, out, yeah, two of them were all messed up and rotted out. So, there was only four. <laughs> now, here's the fourth bracket. Just for exhaust hangers. Now, if we get under here, I'll show you what the drive shaft. I'm gonna guess a 13. Oh, so I need a 13. Give me one of those 13 jets back there. So right there is the uh, okay bearing. 13. And back here is the diff. Is the diff. Can I get a 13? So I'm gonna figure out that size and I'm gonna get this bitch a 13. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a 13? Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? So we'll be back. <laughs> All right, so there was four bolts. Nuts. Legs, well, nuts, whatever. <laughs> they know what I mean. <laughs> that uh, hold this drive shaft to the uh, differential. Uh, there's 16s. Um, I ended up using a 5.8 because I couldn't find my 16, but the 5.8 actually fit really snug. So now we just got to pull this out and uh, basically <laughs> Brian's controlling the light, but uh, pull this out and it's a pain in the ass, <laughs> but after that's out we should be able to pull it out, slide it so it comes out of the transmission so the drive shaft will drop so we're gonna try that now and see what happens all right so it's not pulling out so we're gonna have to do the uh, other end so ignore taking off the uh, differential unless you want to take out your whole drive shaft which you don't really have to but if you want to, I mean, then, you know, proceed. But you don't have to, so you're going to have to take off from the transmission, undo the gilbo, and that is an 18. And there's a bolt and a nut, so you got to hold one side while you undo the other. So we're going to get under there and give it a try. And let's see what happens, I guess. All right, so that is just a pain in the ass to get out. Um, my advice is to do what I just thought of. <laughs> and since it's already detached everywhere else except the transmission, obviously I'm pulling the engine, and in order to pull the engine, I have to remove it from the training mount. So, I mean, it's going to come out with the engine. And then from there, I'm going to see what I need to do. Because right now that thing is on there tight. It is so tight. And if I can figure something out with my like impact, um, maybe find like an extension long enough to mess with it. I mean, I don't know. We'll see when it gets out. But I'm just gonna leave that for now. Um, next is I need to, I need to still figure out what I'm gonna do with the uh, power steering. And then after that, it's. All I got to do is the training mount, the engine mounts, and then it's ready to be pulled. So hopefully the next video you guys see, I will be doing those things. 
and that shouldn't take long at all it's just a few bolts and then it's ready to be pulled and so I'm I'm hoping Wednesday is the next day I'm gonna be out here uh, maybe even sooner who knows it just depends but I'm hoping Wednesday to come back out here and pull the engine so stay tuned for the next one because hopefully we're pulling it um, as usual like share subscribe all that good stuff uh, sorry it wasn't too much today just ran into a bunch of problems uh, today was actually the hardest day <laughs> to be honest um, what do you think yeah I will stick to my Nissans <laughs> that are simply just pull the drive shaft out of the transmission and you're set <laughs> But I think... Uh, I don't see why that one does I, I swear, it, it's it has to. Out. It has to pull out. And that's why, you know, I told you I'd bring my jack like Monday. So that way we could get the car up higher. So it's... We could have, we were actually able to get leverage. Because my 240 was like... When I did it. I had pulled... And I dropped my transmission and everything. How hard was it to pull it out though? I don't remember. It like, was, did it just slide out? Or was it like difficult? I mean, I'm pretty sure I had to pull like kind of hard. I would imagine. I don't remember. But, like, I know I just pulled it out from the transmission. Yeah, I don't see why it wouldn't. Because, I mean, <laughs> obviously, it's not going to be one complete solid piece. Comment below if you, we can just pull drive shaft out. But by then, we'll probably be done. But, <laughs> like, yeah. I'm pretty sure you should... There's nothing... There's not, like, bolts inside the transmission that hold the drive shaft to the rest of it. Like, legitimately, it's just, like, gears, drive shaft, and spins. So... I don't see why we yeah, wouldn't be able I mean, to pull it out. So um, obviously, obviously, like you know, like you said, it it has to it has to go in because it's not like they're gonna you know make the case around it. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it just should just slip in. So I think I'm pretty sure I had to pull pretty hard, like to get my drive shaft out because I wasn't gonna be able to drop my transmission without pulling it out. Um, yeah, I did have to pull pretty hard. I put my legs on the transmission or like the transmission mount and like I pushed and pulled on the drive shaft like it and it just like popped out like I was not ready for the big mess that came with it and everything like <laughs> cause I thought I'd be a badass and not drain the transmission cause <laughs> I, I, I already drained the transmission mm -hmm. so so we won't have the me well we'll probably have a little bit of drip a little drip a little, just a little. <laughs> a little seepage a little seepage nothing we can't clean up but well, yeah, I'll bring my jack Monday, because obviously I don't use it right now. So, uh, bring my jack Monday, and we'll pull, try to jack this car up higher, and then... See, I have this jack the fuck out of the drive shit. somewhere <laughs> in this mess. <laughs> oh, right that thing? That thing. Like, I have that, but that is just crap. Like, literally, you start jacking it up, and if there's any weight on it, it just... <laughs> <laughs> Mine's better, then, so I'll just bring that. And uh, I got these fucking jack stands too. But yeah, but, but they're not maxed out. Like you're, the ones you have aren't even maxed out. And I had no, them. those ones ain't maxed out. But the one, the ones I'm, that I used them with my 240, like dude, I was, I had those jack stands maxed out, and they were sitting far back, so that way the end, the engine was, or the front of the car was up, so that way I could get my fat ass underneath it. Like, <clears throat> well, the problem with these is these are fucking huge. These are Jasons. Yeah. And they're. <laughs> like he works on jeeps mm -hmm. so i mean it's gonna sit high yeah but but like i think i might even have a like a cylinder jack like for taller cars so that would definitely help us so i might bring that up instead because i know my my little floor jack can only do so much well, we'll we'll see. I mean, we'll, we'll work with shit. We'll work with shit. We'll get this drive shaft out. I swear to fucking god, <laughs> this drive shaft's coming out. I don't lose to a drive shaft. <laughs> I lose the electrical shaft because I don't want to troubleshoot it. <laughs> but all right, um, let's see the end of this video. Like, share, subscribe, all that. Um, I do appreciate it. Uh, you know, obviously, I will be able to do more stuff if my channel grows. Um. So everybody that's been subscribing, commenting, liking, and all that, I appreciate it. I really do. Uh, let's let's grow. Let's grow the family. I mean, come on. Mm, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I I would love to do this every day, and obviously that's why I'm going to school for it. But yeah. 
Uh, enough, enough rambling. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.